All right, guys, Mr. G coming to you with yet another awesome game from the guys that gave you Ultimate General Civil War. They're now giving us Ultimate Admirals Dreadnought. This is a game that lets you build your own battleships, starting all the way from like World War I and even pre-World War I era battleships. So we're talking late 19th century ships all the way up to modern ships. Essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna get to choose a hull, which is gonna have different snap points. You're gonna get to unlock different parts and then be able to mix and match and craft everything from light cruisers to heavy Bismarck class battleships. So you're thinking, okay, what's that actually look like in game? Well, this is what it looks like. You're gonna get a shipyard. You're gonna have an assortment of parts Right now it is an early alpha, so what they've got is they've got a big naval academy that's out. Um, but just like anything by Game Labs, for an early alpha, it's in extremely good shape, extremely playable, and the core game mechanics are there. So what you can see is that we've got different unlockable parts from different sizes of cannons, everything from secondary guns to main guns, uh, and the ship is extremely simulated. Like if we put too much weight fore or aft, that's going to be simulated. It's got different bulkheads and bunkers. You've got Citadel armoring you can choose. You can change your engines. The amount of customization is ridiculous. But what I'm just trying to do here out the door is build myself a basic battleship to be able to go into combat and hopefully blow up another battleship. One that's maybe not even shooting back at me. Um, but what I'm really looking forward to in this game is I'm really excited about actually playing an entire campaign where I'm going to get to unlock parts and craft bigger and better ships as I go along. All right, what are we going to do? We're going to get some guns on here. Let's try this thing out in combat. Now, I've sped the combat up a great deal, and the combat is much more realistic than War Thunder or World of Warships. Your ships turn super slowly and are extremely hard to sink. If you know anything about military or naval history, you know that battleships actually almost never fought against other battleships in naval combat, especially not in modern combat. We mostly were using torpedoes, submarines, and aircraft carriers, but that's another story. Sinking a ship is ridiculously hard. You can light parts on fire. You can fill certain, you know, watertight bulkheads and containment units. And it takes forever to sink one of these giant steel behemoths. But that's what makes this game really, really fun is the amount of different parts of the ship that are simulated. It makes sinking enemy ships even more fun and building your own ships even more fun. So you can see here... We are struggling with our secondary guns and our main guns uh, to blow up another ship here. So we've got fires going on, we've got holes, we've got flooding compartments, but it just takes a lot to bring down a ship. Uh, we're going to cover different damage models in a minute, but we're also going to just quickly cover that you can do some auto building, which does speed up the process. You'll also notice off to the left, you've got a slider there where you can focus on displacement, speed, bulkheads. You can also change engines out. It's going to make it a lot more user friendly if you just want to whip around in there and see what you can make by min-maxing certain characteristics of your ship. You'll also notice that there are other hulls. You're not always going to be creating battleships. You might be making a light cruiser or a destroyer or anything of that nature. Now, when the full game comes out, we can assume that you'll be starting with small ships and working your way up to the big bad boy battleships. Now, not only is there just main guns and secondary guns um, that are modeled in the game, there are also torpedoes. And uh, yeah, these things are a lot harder to dodge in this than they are in War Thunder, and that's probably a good thing. We're going to take a torpedo here to the rear end of our ship, and it's going to have an absolutely bad day. Um, here we are in just fighting another ship here at mid-range, and then lastly, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, modern ships because you're actually able to make some really massive level battleships in uh, late game and when you do play as a modern battleship it kind of blew my mind that the battles and engagements took place at a range of around 20 kilometers which would be realistic for the type of guns we use uh, on modern battleships or at least that we use we don't really use them anymore other than as a show of force I mean look at this look at the range that is absolutely ridiculous 
but also realistic on the scale of what modern battleships were designed to do, which was shoot at their opponents ridiculously far away. Uh, I had the opportunity to go inside the USS Arizona. This was all pre-computers and look at all the telemetry and trajectory tools they had uh, for aiming the guns. It was absolutely mind-blowing what they did back in the day before everything got computerized. But guys, if you want to follow this game and you want more on this game, please let me know in the comments and with likes and your views, and I will gladly cover it and follow it as it makes its way from closed alpha to beta to release. I'm going to catch you guys later. Mr. G, 